hello friends today in this tutorial i will be talking about a javascript date library date time library which is a very famous library called as moment js so this is the official website of moment js if you go to google here and type for this li library which is moment js if you type this the very first result which comes in this is the official website this is the most popular library if, if you are working with date and time inside your application so if you are making any sort of web application which involves date and time you should probably check out this library it is also available as a node dependency also you can see in the install section they have provided you can even install it as a node dependency which is npm install moment this is the name of the library you can even install it by yarn and uh, this is a simple js file here you can see that this is a simple you can just create copy this code and inside your working directory you can just make this uh, moment dot js file and simply you can paste this code this is a library code here 5670 lines of code now what we want we need to create this uh, index.html file let me just create a basic template and let me just change the title to let's suppose moment javascript date and time library demo so basically inside this we need to include our library which we have initiated so script section inside this what we can write here so we can give a source attribute to it so this is moment js we have created this file and now we can simply use this uh, library so they have given some examples on the official website you can see in order to use this in order to get the current date and time you can copy this code copy the snippet of code so simply inside the script section you can make your own custom file paste it now we are calling the moment library followed by a set of parentheses and then we are using the format method if i open with live server you will see it will print out the date and time inside I think it will print out in the console we need to print in the body so we can just have a div which has an ID of result so here we can copy so what we can do is that so we can print it here result dot HTML HTML so you can just copy paste this code here remove from here and paste it inside this so if i refresh here you will see it will print out the current date and time which is october 18th 220 and also it will print out the time as well 341 correct time 54 so it is calculating the time in in the indian format if you are living on a different country you can just in the documentation they have all the calendars which are available the default one is english united states you can select other countries as well if you want the german calendar which is different you can see it also support various languages so according to your language you can just use this so default one is english united states so you can even subtract date and time also in order to get only the day you will just write this code inside the format you will pass four d's so here i can result html and this time we only want the days you can see we are only wanting the days so if i refresh here you will see it will print out the day which is sunday so the current day which is sunday so in this way you can get the current day and also you can even get this short form which is october 18th 20 20 stands for the current year so here we can do it like this so you will see
let me just use the append method to append so that the previous thing is also there so we are using the append method so you will see both the things will be there first is the full form and then is the short form you can see and then comes you can even you can see you can even use the ex escape keyword as well inside the dates and then it is also there if you don't pass anything inside this format method then it will print out everything so just according your to your application you can just use this so here basically what I am telling here if you call the moment if you don't pass anything inside this format method so if you don't pass anything then it will print out everything you will see it will print out everything it will also print this date and time in this manner so all this mention I am writing the code you can see it is all mentioned inside the documentation and also you can go to the video description where I have written the complete detail blog post about this library which is moment.js you can just go to the video description and go to my blog to download all the source code so as I already told you you can even subtract number of dates from the calendar also so if you want to subtract 10 dates from the particular date and time so you can even do that as well so there are various applications on the internet which allows you to subtract date and time so they are all using this library moment.js so let's suppose what we can do inside html we are calling the subtract method and here you will provide the number of days so here we are providing the number of days to subtract from the particular calendar so if I just refresh it you will see it will print out 10 October 2020 so we are subtracting today is 18 October so today is 18 October so it is subtracting 10 days so basically it is showing 8 October because October is 10 here 10th month of the year and this day day is equal to 08 so if I accordingly let's suppose if I want to subtract only one day let's suppose so if I change this you will see yesterday at 3 46 p.m. so it will also include the time as well so you will see so basically it is just a date time subtractor if you want to subtract date and time so if I want to subtract 365 let's suppose 365 days so it will print out 10 19 2019 so basically this is a great application if I want to have a simply a input field let's suppose of type text so here I will just provide the number of days so I will provide days here and it should be required and then we will have a simple button which will carry out the procedure for us so simply a button so so subtract so here we will bind a simple on click so when we click this button we will call the subtract method here so we will call the subtract method so we need to make this method so simply what we can do we can have the function subtract and we can wrap this code inside our subtract method so we can delete it from here and paste it here so you will see if I provide any sort of days to subtract then it will subtract it so let me just delete all this stuff which are which was previously there so let me just delete it so you will see if I type any days let's suppose if I want to subtract only two days if I click subtract you will see it will print out um, what is 10 19 2019 oh sorry we need to pass here we need to get the first of all number of days so we can 
target the days here and get the value dot val or we can simply pass this value so what we can do is that paste it value like this if I refresh you will see pass the two days subtract you can see last Friday at 349 if I once again let's suppose if, if this time I pass uh, 100 days you will see 710 2020 so in this way you can just make a date time calculator in a very easy way using this moment.js library so the documentation is listed out on the website here you will see you can even pass you can even add days as well so there is also a add method if you don't want to subtract it you can even add so basically when you just want to know a particular date in the future you just uh, find the calendar and do that but uh, instead of going to the calendar you can just go to this application and here you can just predict the future date for any festival so basically if I want to add 100 days from now so it will be printing out 126 2021 so in this way easy you can just get out the future days which will be there so this is all there inside moment.js it's a very powerful library of javascript you can see uh, i think inside days we can even pass years as well so let's suppose if i pass years let me just check if it is working for the years as well so if i want to add one day year so you will see it is also working for the year as well so it has added one year which is making 2021 if i add 100 years let's suppose you will see 2120 so it is also valid for years as well so you will see you can add days years as well subtracted also so if i they support multiple languages as i already told you it is default to english so if you print out it will print out the english language but you can change it so this was a short preview of the library moment.js so thanks so much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and do check my free media tools website guys i have already uh, made videos on that so it's a great website i have listed out free tools on this website which i uh, make every day which i add on everyday basis so check out this website it's a great website you can enjoy this website for your day-to-day -day tasks such as video to mp3 video converter image converter audio converter so also the link is there inside the video description of this website and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video